Navy freshman running back William McCamey died Tuesday while in a coma after collapsing during practice three days earlier. McCamey, who was just 19 years old, was airlifted from the practice field to a Baltimore hospital where he reportedly underwent surgery to reduce swelling and bleeding on his brain. Though McCamey collapsed during a Navy practice, it is not believed his coma was a direct result of any extreme head trauma sustained during practice. McCamey's mother released this statement after he went into a coma. Will did not sustain a bad hit or unusual or extreme contact in practice Saturday. The Navy coaches have poured through the films of practice and seen nothing. Some history, though. McCamey did sustain a season-ending injury in high school where he ruptured a blood vessel in his brain. Doctors determined at the time he did not need surgery. While a definitive link hasn't been made there either, McCamey's tragic passing is adding even more weight to the fierce head injury debate that has been raging across the country as of late. Everyone knew that this, there was going to come a day of reckoning. 15 millisecond impact is equivalent to getting smashed in the head with a sledgehammer. Countless concussions led to an historic settlement today. Back in August, the NFL reached an agreement to pay $765 million over concussion-related brain injuries to more than 18,000 retired NFL players, fueling an already heated debate over the dangers of modern-day football. But McCamey's case does not seem to be one where he was rushed back to the field without due process. The McCamey family says every precaution was taken. They say he was seen by four different neurosurgeons, underwent four to six CAT scans, and waited nine months after the injury to have any sort of contact on the field. Support from McCamey and his family has poured in since his collapse Saturday. According to the U.S. Naval Academy, McCamey passed away with his family at his bedside. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrus.